Okay, so basically we're using the same back-end system. We've just put a new shopping cart software in there. And the shopping cart software is shop, S-H-O-P-P, -P, from WordPress, for WordPress, excuse me. And so we're going to first start logging in, and the site you're going to go to is on the document I sent over. Uh, for you in the email and this is going to be your WordPress admin login information so we'll enter that in and then you're going to click login we'll remember and you'll be taken to the dashboard of your back end for the site and basically it's the exact same layout as the other videos that I sent over. The only thing that's changed is over here on the left hand side we have shop instead of the WP e-commerce. So below posts, media, links, pages, etc. is shop. Under shop you have various categories, settings, categories, products, promotions, customers, orders, so we'll start with settings and this is going to be the only thing you're really going to be concerned with on within this dashboard backend. So we'll click on settings and settings basically lays out the various settings throughout the site. Uh, we'll concentrate on a couple of them that I know you may want to change in the future and the other ones are more presentational and they could disrupt the site. So we'll first start here at the general and general settings and we have merchant email. If you want to change your merchant email to something other than the email that you're using right now, you'd come in here, highlight it and delete it and type in the new address and then click save changes. The other things on here is base operations is USA, California and then our markets, your market is USA. Uh, below that is order status labels. Nothing else you need you really need to worry about on this page. Dashboard widgets, that's not something to worry about, but we need that enabled. Those are the sidebar, cart, etc. that are on the sidebar of the site. Next thing we'll look at is payments. And payments is where you decide which payment gateway you're going to be using. So right now you're using PayPal standard and what you do is enter the email address associated with your PayPal standard account and that automatically links up the payment gateway to the shopping cart that we're using. So that if you changed your account information for some reason this is where you would change your email address. Next we have taxes and if you all of a sudden want to start charging tax right now it's all inclusive but if you want to start charging tax, you would click Enable, and below that, change your tax rate to whatever the tax rate is. Right now, I have it 9.75, but it's not enabled. So nobody's getting charged tax at this moment in time. The other one I want to look at is shipping. And just to show you that shipping is enabled, but there's no charge or handling fee for it. The reason it's enabled is so that we can get the shipping information from the customer. If we didn't have that enabled, it wouldn't ask for a shipping address. Next thing over, we'll just take a look at the presentation link. And this is basically the layout of the images, the thumbnail images, which are the smaller images before you get to enlarge them. And then the gallery image size is the one that's on this individual product that's a little bit larger than the thumbnail, but still not full size and then we have image order and we just do that by file name product orders by title you could switch that to best selling price high to low price low to high newest to oldest oldest to newest random however you'd like to set that up we right now have nine products per page but you could increase that to twelve I would keep it in sets of three because there's three that go across the screen uh, grid rows is three, so you could change that, but the problem is the images would start to overlap the sidebar and go outside the, bear, uh, the border. So most of the stuff you want to keep the same. Next thing we'll look at is we're going to look at products and categories. 
So a first look at the categories and how that's set up. Click on categories. And basically what we have here is we have all the different suites listed and we have photography suites. Photography suites is the parent category of all the other suites. So all the other suites are subcategories of photography suites. The reason for this is that we can create the size variations just for the photography suites category. And if we put all the other suites underneath it, then it'll just transpose those size variations to all the other categories and all the other products. That way you only have to enter the variations once for size if you want to change price on any of the sizes, then having to go through each product and change the, um, change the pricing. So if you wanted to change pricing on the variations, you'd come in here and click edit under photography suites. And it'll take you to a page that basically shows you the title. You could add a description to any of the categories. And that would show right at the top of the page for that category. And what we have, variation options menu. And we have size. So we can come in here. And we can change pricing. So you can see we have price, weight, handling fee. And this is shipped. So you could come in here and change all these to $95 and $125, whatever the price you want. And then you want to make sure you come back up to the top after you changed anything in any of these categories and click Save Category. That'll save it and show the updates to the site. So let's go back to Categories and just take one more look at that. So basically you can see that Photography Suites does not have a dash in front of it. All these others do. So that's how it indicates that these are all child categories of the Photography Suites. And Photography Suites is the parent category. Any of these other ones, just like we did with Photography Suites, you could go in there and click Edit and edit any one of these. Next we're going to look at the products. And I'll just do a quick overview with this. I'll also send over a video for just the products, just so we know, make sure that uh, you know how to enter a new product. So I'll click on products, and this will bring you to all of your products within the site. So there's at least 11 pages, maybe more. I'm sure. And um, so then you can take a look and see all of the products within uh, your store. You can also search up here and search products. So if we were on to look for Rocky Coast, but you don't want to go and scroll through them all, you just type in Rocky Coast. And it'll bring you up anything that has Rocky and Coast in it. So you can see Rocky Coast. So if we want just Rocky Coast, type in Rocky Coast, and it'll bring you all the Rocky Coast products. Then you can go on in here and edit any of these. So we'll click Edit under Rocky Coast 1. And you'll be taken to the product editor. And you have a title at the top. Below that is a description. That'll show at the top of the page. Below is a summary if you'd want to do a summary. And then below that we have detail and specs, probably not too important. And below that is the product images. You could add a new pro new image by clicking Add New or delete this by rolling over it with the mouse and clicking the minus sign here. Below that, you'll see that it's automatically propagated with all of our variations of sizing, which makes it very nice. And then over to the right, you have the categories. So we want to make sure every single product is under the photography suites. That way it gets the variations in size. Below that we also check Rocky Coast Suite because it's in both the Rocky Coast Suite and the parent category Photography Suites. Below is the tags, not too important, basically these are keywords associated with that product. And below that we have settings, which are basically, it's published, we want it published, we'll check that. And then below that we have variations and that's selected automatically when we select Photography Suites. After you're done editing, you want to make sure you save the product. So you come up here and click Save Product at the top right. 